So hello, everyone. I'm Tanki. So uh, I'm again the author from uh, from Epic Games. So everyone is kind of tired of code. So let's just do something without code. I'm gonna challenge myself to teach everyone to do ray tracing in a couple of minutes. We'll see how we progress. Uh, what we do is basically again again engines like Fortnite. A lot of companies use our game engine Unreal to develop uh, different titles. And for sure, there's some shiny pixels from our team. Um, these are rendering in real time without, you know, a fancy offline render hours rendering. Um, uh, just to disclaimer, I think I'm going to discuss it about myself, about not about the company. So then let's just start. So this is how we're going to do the ray tracing in a nutshell. We can see the image rendering pixel, and for each pixel, we just cast rays from the camera and uh, do hit intersection test with the scene against the scene. So if there's a hit then we can decide to compute the uh, light interaction and uh, decide the final pixel color for that pixel. To simplify the, to simplify the problem, here's the actual thing we're going to render. Um, there's a sphere sitting on the ground in an open space. There's no extra light sources, just skylight, which means everywhere you hit, um, if you're going to compute light, compute, compute light information, it's just going to be a fixed value if it's not blocked. So here this is what we can get. If we do the intersection test, we um, shade all the villa head as red. And then furthermore, if we can evaluate the surface normal information and visualize it, this is what we can get. Then one step more, if we can take another ray from the surface and uh, just cast it to a random direction, if ray hits anything, then the ray is actually blocked by the light source else it's interacting with the light. So be aware that the, all the surface with gray is kind of the surface color. But if only with that equation, we should only get two color, gray or black, right? But this is ap apparently not the truth here. Um, and yes, because I was lying or saying it's just part of the story. So it's not as simple as that. We can see, like I said, um, we need to evaluate the light information of the surface where this is only part of the story, not all the equation. So this is what we actually try to deal with. Um, so anyone is, anyone is still like look, listen at to me, don't freak out. Here's a more literal version. So to evaluate the color of the ray, we need to sum up the light emit from the point plus the integral within the hemisphere of the light coming from any given direction multiplied by the chance of such light ray bouncing toward the viewer, and then finally weighted by the normal. So this is what we call the rendering equation, which is all the renderer try to solve. It's just different way, different hack. So actually, the integration is where the problem comes from. Um, so we didn't evaluate the whole integration. We just evaluated like one ray. So but coming back, how we need to do the integration on a computer? There's several one way. but here we need to introduce some Car integration. So basically the idea is to resolve the integration of an arbitrary function to an unknown function. We can take samples from the whole functions and get the average value. In case we have enough samples, we'll be able to evaluate a pretty close estimation. So if we take more samples and compute the average, we can get something with shadow now. The material property of the surface are simplified for here and uh, we can imagine the light interaction can be very different among different materials. So now I'm going to ask, is anyone still interested? I'm going to talk material and denoising. If so, please. <laughs> All right, thank you. So this fancy boy just show like what kind of material we can get in the crazy world. Uh, this is from the Disney, but basically if we can get some more material variety in the scene and we can render a scene like this. Um, so this looks pretty nice, except if we try to zoom in. So here's the problem, why it's like super noisy. Well, this is, pro this is because we actually use a Monte Carlo integration, which means we said like we need to take sufficient samples, but it's very hard to decide whether it's sufficient. So if it's not sufficient, then we get something like this. This is actually pretty bad, pretty good already. So 
to solving this problem, there are actually a couple of ways. One direction we can generally go is to cast more sufficient rays, or say like more important rays. One technique we generally use is called important sampling. Consider this case. There's an incoming ray then reflect from the surface, then the reflection ray direction will actually scatter in a, like a lob. Um, but we can imagine if we take more rays from the orange comb, that area, um, the whole image will just converge faster. Also, a more carefully designed sampling pattern will work better to sample the same distribution. Simply just because with a better sampler, we will be able to cover the whole space better, um, where we can estimate and provide some better property for the next technique I'm gonna introduce. So this is what I took from the Intel Open Denoiser um, repository. This, we pick, this picture rendered by 15 samples per pixel. And this is what we get. This is called denoising, like I said. It, it sounds like magic, but it's not. There's a lot of denoising methods going on, and uh, it's still a very open problem, um, especially in real-time scenario. Um, but generally, there are several spaces we can apply the denoiser. For example, it's spatial, basically it applies in the space, or temporal, applying the whole timeline, or even what we call past space. It's a representation of the past, which form a space. Um, for spatial, we can actually apply a screen space denoiser, or we call a word space denoiser. Screen space here is ju just uh, simply means it's like in the image space. For each pixel, we try to denoise, we just gather the information of the pixel, and it's main neighborhood, or other pixels you can get, you need, then apply the algorithm, and which apply, which finally give you kind of nice result. So I think that's pretty much it. I hope everyone enjoy the content and can enjoy the rest of the conference.